Hello, welcome to IMHO. In my homosexual opinion. I'm Darby Babs. And I'm Alexis B. Bevels. The P stands for Panina Tournay. Did you know that Sutton Foster was on Say Yes to the Dress and she said yes to a Panina Tournay with a sweetheart neckline and a handkerchief skirt? Wait, Sutton Foster was really on that show? Like after yes. she became Sutton Foster? Yes, and she it was so cringe because she came out in this dress that literally looked like, you know in Beauty and the Beast, the feather duster? She came out looking like that, and her friends were all like, um, you look like a napkin. I saw it on TikTok, by the way. She, her friends were like, you look like a napkin. And then she was like, oh, but I love it. And then she tried on a bunch of other dresses, and she was like, no, no, no. And then she was like, wait, let's try it on again. And then she went out. They took off the bow at the belt, and then they put on like a turquoise belt. And then her friends were like, oh, now I see it. You look gorgeous. And I checked, and she really wore it at her wedding. With the turquoise But listen, belt. but I, you know what? That's a life lesson. Y'all, who cares what other people think? As long as yeah. you feel beautiful. Because some of you will never be beautiful. And so you have to believe that. And I'm not talking directly to you, Alexis. I'm just, you just happen to be here. I'm just thinking about you. But like, enjoy what you enjoy, okay? Do it. We have been gone for a while now. Yes, um, we took our annual two-week scheduled break. and We made it last to about six weeks. But yeah. listen, we're back. We're better than ever. And we're remote right now. But guess what, Mama? The next time we film, we'll be together. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I'm out in Los Angeles, the city of, of angles. And I, let me tell you, it has changed yeah, me. Yeah, give us a brief okay? overview. Like, you tell, to, uh, bitch, oh, I'll fill you in on everything. Everything's happening for me right now. I walk the dog in the morning, right? And it's like sunny and blue skies and blah, blah, blah. But it'll be like 65. It won't fully have heated up to the 75. I'm I'm gonna be honest with you. I have to put on a jacket. <gasps> no. I'm gonna, <laughs> listen, listen, I'm not gonna, I'm not even ashamed of it. That's me now, you know, like all I'm talking, I haven't gone on a hike, but I love talking about them. You know, it's a passion of mine because you go up and then eventually, you got to come back down. Yes. And that's life. Well, you got all your stuff. You were without things for a while. And then you got all your stuff. Yeah. Because like cross country moves, they move everything in an 18 wheeler with a bunch of other people's stuff. So yeah, we were without stuff for like a week. Not for me. That was stressful. I don't like to think that I'm materialistic, but obviously I am. <laughs> it sucked. We had, <laughs> um, we had an air mattress and uh. I went to Home Depot and I bought a rocking chair, like, like a cracker barrel rocking chair and that was all the oh, furniture we had that's so gorgeous yeah. i've used it three times so we are here with all stars all winners and this is an opportunity for you to be a winner from our sponsor surf shark sir say it surf shark thank you okay so basically surf shark Surfshark is a VPN service that keeps your information safe on this dangerous, dangerous web. Keeping my information safe is so important because my information is Alexis's information. So if my stuff gets stolen, she's not getting paid. And if she doesn't get paid, well, you can see what she looks like. That's that she hasn't gotten paid in a while. Make sure that you are being protected from those cyber criminals as well with Surfshark. And if you would like to watch TV in another country, see some incredible shows like, I don't know, RuPaul's Drag Race on Netflix, you can actually go to the UK via Surfshark and you can watch RuPaul's Drag Race on Netflix there. You don't have to like buy it. Use code IMHO at checkout for 83% off. It's less than 84, but it's still a lot. And you'll get three months free. Thank you so much to Surfshark for keeping us safe and out of our country sometimes. Thanks, Surfshark. Thanks, Surfshark. I'm going to sing a jingle. Okay. Ready? Surfshark for your needs. <laughs> I had my birthday and it was gorgeous and everyone was so lovely. Oh, yeah. How was that? It was so fun. Sorry, I forgot. That's okay. Well, you moved, so that was my present. Not true. <laughs> Not true. Listen, before we get away from me I'm, and... You have to talk about you. Well, sort of about you. So I've been here for a few weeks, but as of like yesterday or two days ago, mm -hmm. Alexis P. Burvels, are you coming to Los Angeles? Yes, I have an, we have an apartment. We found an apartment. 
it is and you have a plane ticket you'll be here in less than a week i'm gonna be there in less than a week i have not done nary i have not packed a single thing but you don't own anything no i own a lot of things but it's all garbage which is where it's all going oh yeah sorry you don't owe anything of value i'm so sorry i don't own anything of value i have my snow globe collection i think i am gonna downsize that though because i don't want him to get broken so i'm only gonna bring the ones i really love and then you know my wigs wait that's not a joke you do have a bunch of snow globes don't you yeah i have i'm sitting i have a gorgeous collection of about five why what happened why do you do that? I love globes. Okay. I only really love one because my grando gave it to me. And then I got Is my she wigs. the one that took a shit and made you flush it? No, that's grand that's grandma slash mamma. That's grandma oh, up until I was seventeen. Her. And <laughs> her name was Bertel. That's a great name. I know, right? I shouldn't have taken your Uncle Darby's name. I should have taken your you grandma Bertel. And then Bertel. I'd make you flush my shit. <laughs> I don't know what her Oh, main name flush my actually. shit bertel okay so my dad went and did mount everest. i hope it started with a b i love alliteration oh i know okay yeah my dad did mount everest and then right after that he got covid and he had to stay stuck in Kathmandu forever but then i got covid <laughs> i got and COVID. you didn't even do mount everest no listen i think the reason your dad got covid is i think god was mad because whenever someone conquers one of the lord's highest peaks he's like oh you think you're better than me she needs to and be humbled he gives you COVID. yeah 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 yeah. humbled but he's alive right yeah he's fine. fine he 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 did it he did good but you're not feeling well i feel perfectly fine i just have a tiny oh. little cough and okay. my voice isn't fully back to 100 percent, which is the scariest part for me because i I like having a voice. I don't like oh, using sure. it, but I like having it. I do want to say that right now, what I'm seeing from you looks like your feed has has COVID because you're very pixelated. And honestly, lean into it. You've never looked I'm better. I'm pixelated? Yeah, but in the best way. Well, because, like I can barely make out your features. Well, oh yeah, we're doing lo-fi. We're doing lo-fi. Should we talk about this All Star Seven? Yes, let's do it. Well, okay. Now we have not talked to each other about this because we wanted to keep it fresh for the cameras. Love, I'm upset. I just saw Shea Coulee last weekend <gasps> oh. for DragCon LA. I saw her outside the pageant. Oh my God! Did she go to the page? She did. Well, because you know Bambi, her daughter was in it. Did yes, a wonderful job. I also met one of our patrons, and I'm so sorry. I had had a couple drinks, but thank you for saying hi. Pretty, they were so pretty. Wait, what do you want to take take a few words Darby. about the page? How was it? You were there in person. Yes, I was there in person. Meatball was hilarious. Everyone was really good. Like it was a really. Uh, it was a fun experience. Chan was there, so I got to sit with Chan, Aww. and we got to, like, have our little moment, and we were like, remember when it was just the two of us? You know, we did that. Who were your favorites? Obviously, the Chicago. Everyone's Chicago. And Meatball. For sure. I don't know. You know you know how I feel about Meatball. She could shit on the stage, which is how some people have described her performance style. And, like, <laughs> I'm in. I'm laughing. I'm giggling. I'm sad I couldn't be there. I I was there for the very first, first one. I really love that pageant. I hope to Cat see trash. us in it one day. Mm-hmm. Yeah, me too. I think we would both slay. I think it'd be really fun. Um, All you gotta do, you really just gotta be funny. Like, if you can, if you have a good... Neat slapper? Yeah. Yes, if you can slap your knees, or if you don't have knees, that's okay. You can slap your knees. Okay. We have to talk about All Star 7 because there are two episodes. Two episodes. We we did already. If you want to see us talking about their entrance looks and their entrance lines, we already did that on the Meet the Queens. So you can go back and watch yes. that if you've missed it because we have a lot to get into with these episodes. We have a lot to get into and we're just going to go right into the library. Mama, the, the library, library is, open. is open. That's an All-Stars thing though, right? Don't they usually do that on All-Stars? Yeah, the first, first episode? episode. Obviously, Jinx won. Who are some of your other standouts? I mean, okay, listen. Jinx Monsoon. Uh, 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 I know we're going to get real into it in the second episode especially, but she's one. She's the one to beat. I'm sorry. Like, I... Shh. Well, <laughs> she is with Shay. She is. She and Shay are the top front runners. Well, obviously, the, always Team Shay. The thing is, 
I'm I'm so glad because maybe some of the newer, younger kids watching now that weren't alive when season five aired, they're seeing Jinx for the first time and they're really realizing Jinx was kind of, I think, one of the first ones to like break the mold, self-produce. Yes. And like make a character. Yeah. And she did it so flawlessly and beautiful. It kind of brought me back. I was like, oh. Like, remember when we were young and we would just watch it for fun? <laughs> yeah, those were the days. Um, no, I I liked all of them. Here's what I want to say in general about this. And I, I've been seeing it on the internet, so I know the kids are saying it. This format, this everything, is just a celebration of the people we love. Yeah, It is such a positive... Yeah. Fun th the editors are not pulling their shit. They're not pulling the shady shit. If they had a bad read, we didn't see it. I'm loving this. I'm absolutely loving, loving this. It. It's, a, it's a victory lap for all of them. This is what I think all drag race should be because there is still an element of gameplay with the, blo with the blocking that we'll see later, which is compelling and interesting. I think we're just so relieved for the shenanigans to not be so fully on display. I mean, there's still going to be shenanigans. Yeah. Let's be honest. We know the show. I, I don't want to say that I think this should be the permanent format, but I, I think this is it's okay. It's refreshing. Ooh. It's a love letter. Okay. <gasps> it's a love letter. Oh. And what's really exciting is just seeing them all really enjoy each other. To see yes. Jada getting her moment in the sun, because Jada did her all of her shit in her house she was crowned via zoom and then she did touring cool. via cameo she's actually on the same stage with all the other winners and this is like yeah i love watching her when she started to cry when they were doing their makeup and just be like i'm just oh. so thankful like i feel like i belong finally i'm like Bitch, that was you, such a beautiful moment oh that was so beautiful. that made me choked up do you know what else made me choked up they got that to walnut. walk for naomi campbell and oh. shay coulee had her moment with her I icon. mean, weren't you gagged when you saw Naomi Campbell? Uh, listen, she looks like gagged. she's 17. Yeah. She looks like she's 17 years old, okay? Yeah. That woman is going to live forever and she will look young the entire time she does it. And She just had a baby too. Nope. I, I'm not accepting that. Do you remember her on Making the Cut, season one, how perfect she was? Yeah. She was the best part of that. Not that I don't um, love Winnie. I love Winnie Harlow. That was my grandmother's name, Winnie. She was 92 when she died, and she wouldn't let us call her grandmother because she didn't want to seem old, so we couldn't call her grandma or anything. We had to call her by her first name. So oh, there I am, sweet. like eight years. No, it's not. I'm eight years old, and I'm calling my grandmother by her first name like we're friends. That's psychotic. But her first name is Winnie. Oh, it does sound like cute. a dog. Yeah, it's like a little puppy. Yeah, she wasn't nice. Anyway, um, yeah, I I also hats off to again. I'm we're gonna be very. I'm gonna be very favoritism. Okay, hats off to Jinx Monsoon for walking for Naomi Campbell oh, in her own style. I would like, have died. What do you do in that? Okay, that's a good. Okay, what do you do in that situation? What I mean, you have reaction? to do your own. You have to do your own thing and be your own self. I mean, and thank God Naomi was. I mean, she wasn't there to rip these girls to shreds. She was there to no. You know be on tv and give them a moment so she was like you said they she was finding the good and mentioning that but even so i think she would have done that anyway because it's not a modeling show it's a it's a drag show but i would, have, would have done what? exactly what jinx did and done comedy done my yeah you know. you'd have to i would i would have fallen <laughs> i would have fallen and feigned yeah. an injury and then just hobbled along the rest of the way and they'd be like oh I my god are you okay girls, i'd be like no i would have told one of the other girls to throw a cell phone at me and i would have i would have taken it like a champ <gasps> i forgot she did that that's pretty iconic so we get we get the library we get the naomi moment we get all the fun just like we're just so excited that they're back and then the best part of the entire episode is that we learn that their first challenge is to write their own verse on a new rupaul song we get to hear oh rupaul God. sing y'all it's Girl. really a winter season oh it's a winning <laughs> which okay let's be honest I don't, I, listen, I don't, I'll be honest with you and please, oh, please don't send this to WoW. I don't go to Spotify. I don't go to iTunes. I don't download RuPaul's songs. Okay. Like when they're like, you can get well, this I version. Don't, can I be honest? I don't really listen to music. It's a problem. 
Me neither. I love podcasts. I only listen... I only listen to podcasts Me too. and then sometimes when I think of it, I'll put on like rain sounds at night or like my favorite is like combination rain, beach and fire, uh, campfire. And what? You can't have a campfire on so the beach when it's the- raining. Well, according to Spotify, you can bitch. <laughs> okay. I fall asleep exclusively to old Dateline episodes. So I am constantly listening. Oh, to is that like- Keith Morrison? Yeah. So I'm constantly listening to like 911 calls about like a dead body and I'm like, I can go to sleep now. But I will say like the the idea that there's a song all about being legendary and being legends and it's just a bunch of your favorite winners of Drag Race singing or rapping, if you will, a verse about legends. I would listen to that song. Read You Wrote You is the only one that I think any of us actually listen to, let's be honest. Well, but Read You Wrote You one, and Shake Delay's verse from Bring It to the Runway. Everything. I think yeah. about it probably True. once a, a week, if not once a day. I want to go just right into the musical performance, but I also want to bring up Monet is kill. I, okay, I have to say a couple things. Do I it. forgot. I love Jinx. I love seeing her back on my TV. I love seeing Raja back on my TV. Raja is the OG. She made, I think she really made it this what it is. And then I forgot how fucking funny Monet Exchange is. And when she was talking about the alliance with Trinity, that was funny. I also, I hate to say this, and I really am sorry. Trinity's good at Drag Race. She's funny. You don't have to apologize for that. We have said that before. She devil by night, by day. <laughs> She's really funny. Can I say this too while we're on Monet? I'm so sorry. This is going to be, listen, it's two episodes. We also, we're we're getting, we're getting our sea legs back. We haven't done this in a while and we're separate. So. And and you can't swim. So your sea legs are very important. No, I can swim. I just choose not to because I'm afraid of jellyfish. Right. Yeah. It was, so you live near a lake. You, you don't know what's down there. I love Monet exchange. I think Monet Exchange, for me, pot of me, she is my favorite Drag Race girl ever. She does Drag Race really well. She knows Drag Race really well. So funny and and will take it seriously, like in the talking heads, like the challenges actually matter. Yeah. But then she'll joke around and be silly in the same breath. Yeah. And I love the world that she and Bob have created. Like, I think they have put this hilarious stamp on the franchise in a way that, like, no one else has or can. And I think Monet Exchange is the premium drag race queen. Yeah. Sorry. Also beautiful in drag and also watching her in those two episodes out of drag. Beautiful out of drag. Excuse me. I'm attracted to this person. So what did you think about this musical performance? I loved it. I thought it was so cute. I loved the, I love that Shay choreographed. I I, I loved it all. Now, listen, before we did that, though, we got to see RuPaul perform. Oh, my God. I forgot about that. I love how she had all those backup dancers on those (laughs) pedestals so they would be taller than her. Yeah, I... I've, I've said this, I think I've said this before. I want her to lean into the whole, I don't move, I don't do anything when I perform thing. Because she knows yeah. we know, we can see her. I wish she would lean into it in that every performance, like maybe one performance, she's strapped to a dolly. or Like, like Hannibal Lecter. Yes, but like sexier. Well, no, he's pretty hot. I don't know, or like carry her on their shoulders or like make her a marionette puppet just something where like they're moving her limbs for her that would be funny because what she's doing right now is uncomfortable for me for me part of me i'm just scared she's gonna fall and hurt herself she does yoga 30 times a day i don't know that she would hurt herself but i just want her to lean into the joke or, or at least let us know that she knows that she looks silly yeah you know who didn't look silly? Cameron fucking Diaz, who was beautiful and a Loves. delight. A delight. I, she just is like, I'm not going to work that much anymore. But yeah, I'll come do Drag Race. Because she's rich. I love rich people. What was your favorite performance? Who was your, who was your, besides Shay? Shay always kills these types of performances. Shay, I mean, I I really relate to Jinx, so I loved her. 
And I can I say I thought you, I thought of you when I was watching yeah. it. I was like, that could be Alexis Bevels. Listen, Alexis, I've said it before. I'll say it again. Despite the fact that it bring, it gives me heartburn. I think you could win Drag Race. Like I think. No. We, yes, I I, be, I believe it. I believe it with all of my heart. We have got to put our heart and soul into actually, like, we have to submit an audition for you. Okay, we I will to. submit if you submit, because I no. think the same thing about you. I think you could do a Bianca Del Rio and just sweep the whole thing. No, listen, I'd be a Kelly Mantle. Sweep. I would go out first. Does she live I, in LA? Yeah. Can we, get, can we try and get her? Oh, I would die. I'd be so excited. Oscar nominee Kelly Os Mantle? I don't think she's a nominee. She was Oscar eligible. No, she was nominated. No. But then I would do like small stuff and I would do, you know, like Tammy Brown's YouTube thing. And so I'd still sort of be in the zeitgeist, but I'd be like old and glamorous. I'm going to be Kelly Mantle. Bitch, speaking of old and glamorous, Hacks season two, are you watching? Yes, I love it. So glamorous, so old. So lesbian. Lesbian rights. Speaking of lesbian rights, RuPaul looks so cool in this outfit. I agree with you. I 100% agree. Can you agree. see? I, well, I, rem I saw you it. I, to... I watched the show. Both looks from both episodes were great, but this was such a fun start. I love the colorful, like, come on, cartoon. I don't usually like when drag queens do cartoony stuff. I think it's cheap, oh. but I thought she did it really well. Speaking of doing it well, the theme is crowned queen i think and first up is raja did you notice they were going in order of how they were crowned oh i love that i know that's sweet first up is no, raja she was giving a nod to king louis um she said she started with the shoes and worked it from there i think she's the reason the runways are so fashion now i love when the judges are talking after this runway and rue's like i was worried because or no it was michelle drag has changed so much since season three of Drag Race. And, you know, she had a lot to live up to on this runway. And I was worried that, you know, she hadn't grown with the times or whatever. I'm like, bitch, her actual job is judging the runways of Drag Race. What do you mean she doesn't know drag has changed? Yeah. Oh my God, that was a funny read, Trinity, when Trinity was like, boot. <laughs> Cause you know, she was salty. Let's move on to Jinx Monsoon, who looked gorgeous and did a really funny slit. <laughs> did a really funny slit it made me laugh out loud because she just kept stopping and then just pop out she'd go bloop do you remember that do you remember that angelina jolie moment yes oh my god yes <laughs> that was a moment so funny. in time very current very now very yes monet exchange wearing this kind of 80s tracksuit beautiful incredible crown hair i fucking loved the panniers listen panniers panniers Later in the judging, I think she had a grill in her mouth, like something on her teeth, and then she took them out and to talk, but they never showed what the grill was. What if, okay, so her tracksuit has the trans colors on it. Her grill was the colors of the trains flag, <laughs> the green and yellow flag that RuPaul shared for trains pride. Maybe that's why they were like, we can't show no. that. We can't show that. No! It's true! I, I loved it. And I, I love putting it the, gorgeous, the little pin deers or whatever. Pin, pin. Penniers. Penniers. The beignets. I loved it. Trinity the Tuck. Purple, lavender. Um, Cool. Loved it. Orange mm -hmm. hair. Give it to me. She looked beautiful. If this were any other season, like if this were a regular drag race season, she would be red the fuck down for not being able to walk. Did you notice like her section started with her started. already on she, stage? Yeah. I was like, but that's what I love about this season is that it is just a celebration. I don't know. There's something, there's something specific about Trinity's style that doesn't really connect with me, but I can see that, that, that she delivers high quality, even if it's not my taste. You know what is your tastes? Because I know you've eaten a few of these in your past is Evie Oddly's crayon look. <gasps> look at this gorgeous melted crayon fucking- Wordplay? How the fuck, how how dare you? Because because Wait, people... say that word. Crayon, obviously, I'm not a communist. See, I always call them crowns. That's insane. That's absolutely, yeah, that's actually insane. That's what um, I call them. I love that though. I love that she's like, some people call them crowns because of 
I assume a TBI. I love that that duality of it. And it was so yeah. cool. And oh, I love Evie Oddly. Okay? I love like, Evie Oddly. I, and I don't oh. want to be inappropriate. But did you see that picture she posted on Twitter no, no, the other she's day? She's very hot. She's very, very hot. I loved it. Yeah. I think this was yeah, brilliant. And it 10. was Evie. It was true to who she is. But so fucking cool. The Vivian was doing like a very... Oh, bitch. Woodland fun. I could see you in that. I could see you in that. Oh, really? It gives kind of like from the Shire, kind of like living in a hole or whatever they do over oh, there. Wait, let's talk about this. What would you do? I think I would probably do like Khaleesi, like something Dragon Queen, like Daenerys Targaryen vibes, which is not far off from this. What would you do? Uh, Burger King crown. <laughs> With cheddar poppers. <laughs> no, I would wear a single Burger King crown, not... I wouldn't do anything to it because it's already drag. And, and then, then nude? I'd be naked. Yeah. You could do Valentina and tape one of those crowns to your titties. And you're... I have been compared to her a lot. So you're right. I could that do is... that. Um, but I the Vivian looked great. Pretty. Yeah. I thought she she's gorgeous. I, I mean, the work she's had done, whatever it is, out of drag as well. She's just looking great. Yeah. She's looking great. I want that work done. Jada Essence Hall obsessed what do you say what can you say obsessed i mean it's marie antoinette it's a little bit bridgerton the flowers were giving me avatar i'm on an avatar kick lately because i'm really excited for avatar 2 water sports i think this is gorgeous and beautiful and jada is once again perfect it kind of reminded me too of do you remember her yellow tool look from her yes. season it, yeah. it had the remnants of that which i don't know if that was on purpose or not but i associate that particular look with jada so much that it was so exciting to see that and of course like the dreads into a beehive and mm -hmm. the little crown i just every detail was so good and then finally shay coulee girl this i mean shay is no stranger to delivering show-stopping fucking get incredible ear prosthetics ear prosthetics ear prosthetics ear prost girl the I hair being the, the crown excellence. the fucking arm like bangle shields the colors the beauty the way it flowed the movement she said stop the show no need to see anyone else well and thankfully the show was stopped after her that was because that ended up working out well because actually she, go, oh please no 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 i i was literally just gonna word vomit i i completely agree with you i i was absolutely blown away absolutely fucking blown away and i was trying to figure out like how the ears worked and then she said ear prosthetic and i was like ear prosthetic are you fucking yeah. kidding she is drag excellence she is drag excellence times however m many you have to do to be more than that we're not worthy we're not worthy no. to have lived in the same city as her which is good that we are moving because we're yeah, not she's worthy. out here all the time too she is out there all the time and actually she did stop the show she was one of the top two it was shay coulee and monet exchange were the top two for the episode they each got a legendary legends badge or star legendary legends star and yeah. the thing with this is they both get to lip sync for the ten thousand dollars and the win and whoever wins gets to block the other one they lip sync to old mcdonald's farm by ella Fitzgerald. well that they don't get to block the other one like they're they both... block someone yeah yeah, the other the person who loses the lip sync is still safe. Is safe from the blocking. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I misspoke. They lip sync to Old McDonald Farm by Ella Fitzgerald. I loved it. It was so good. I've been rewatching it on TikTok every time it comes up. I just thought it was like such a cute idea. I love that both of these lip syncs that we see are are different from just the usual dancey, dancey, dancey. Like these are the kinds of performances when I go to a a gay bar, a gay bar, if you will, and I see. <laughs> I see someone doing like Ella Fitzgerald that I'm in, I'm dialed in yeah. when there's a lot of lyrics and like, Oh, don't get me started on fancy. I love that shit. Miss Shea Coulee wins. She gets the platinum <gasps> plunger. By the way, I'm so sorry. Shea Coulee's lip sync outfit. 
What the fuck? Okay, so I saw on Twitter they didn't know they needed to change for lip syncs or whatever. So they were just kind of scrambling around, picking out whatever extra stuff they had. That was an extra thing? Mama, that Mm-mm. was extra? Shay, that was it fashion. Was, I just... That was... It, uh beautiful and the way she moved yeah, with it yeah it was fucking stunning Shea uh, 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 Coulee is a master class on lip syncing I've said this before I'm gonna say it again I was when I started a someone who was like lip syncing I'm gonna sing I'm gonna blow them all away <laughs> and then I saw Shea Coulee lip sync and I was like oh this is high art this is a skill it's high art that mama. not everyone has mm-hmm. She was incredible, and it all worked, and so she wins $10,000, but with great power comes great responsibility. Uh, It's my favorite quote from Winston. The character... No, the character from New Girl. He said it all the time. Oh Oh my god, New Girl lives in LA, right? Yeah, she's fucking one of the property brothers. I'm gonna be New Girl when I live there. No, you'll be same. Should I get bangs? She gets the plunger. She has to decide who is going to be blocked. I love that she walked up and down the line of everybody and like stopped at everyone. It was fun. It was camp. So good. Oh, it was looking camp right in the eye. She chooses Trinity because Trinity's good at Drag Race. She's good at this game. Mm -hmm. And it turns out, spoiler alert, the next episode, that was a good choice. I also kind of wonder if she just knew that the audience wouldn't be mad at her for blocking Trinity. Because <laughs> Trinity's so unpopular. Yeah, she is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and that's the, that's the end of the episode. Is that the end of the first episode? That is the end of the first episode. So let's head Have right into the... It. That's okay. You you were never really good at it. So let's head right <laughs> into the second episode. Now the okay, second wait, episode... Move... My butt hurts. Hold on. Are you in bed? Yeah. I was Are you gonna laying wear my... down? Well, no, I'm propped up against the wall. Like you're in hospice care? Yeah, I'm like Willy... I'm like those grandpas and grandmas in Willy Wonka. <laughs> you ever think about... <laughs> you ever think about... His you muscles would about... have atrophied. Heard... His muscles would have atrophied. The fact that he's able to get up and dance... Well, until he got that golden ticket. Fuck off. Yeah. That's not science. Do you think that, that they... story they was were written fucking by a Christian? Night. We go to the next episode. They all get to talk about, like, the the person that was blocked. They hold Trinity back, and then she walks in. But, of course, like, the stakes are low. And I don't mean $200,000 low. Like, I I realize they want to win. But they know whatever happens, they're all going to be in it together, and they're in it till the end. Yes, it is. I think the blocking will feel a little more dire once we get closer to the end. But right now, they're able to just kind of laugh about it because they don't know what's going to happen. And they just know at the very least, they'll still be here. Listen, this is the Snatch Game, but it's no normal Snatch Game. They have to do two Snatch Games. Which has been done. Which has been done. Bob the Drag Queen. It's been done and it's been done well. And so I was really excited for it. I was kind of, I did immediately think of Bob and I was kind of hoping that part of the challenge was they they all had to transition on their own. They weren't like, let's go away and then we'll come back. Like they had to do a quick change. That would be oh. funny to see Trinity have to go from the devil to Leslie Jordan in like 30 seconds. Which honestly, if you ask my dad, he, he would say they're one and the same. But, oh, so fun. You haven't spoken to your dad, have you? No, but I do call my brother for updates because he says insane shit. Do you want me to take out your dad? I want something to listen. That's what I'm saying. That like these are the Leah Michelle and Mitch McConnell will live forever. If you have a darkness inside you, it protects you. He has had cancer. He has had a heart attack. He's done it all. And he's still fucking here. I'll I'll take him out if you want me to. I'm hoping the melanoma will. There's two lip syncs. Er, there's two. There's, there's two, two lip syncs. Yeah, games. I think that the. Fr- I think we can all agree the second one was the one to watch. The second one was the but one any, to watch. But however, the first one was pretty fucking. The first funny. one. There was not a bad egg in the bunch. Well, again, I mean, there were some girls that again, didn't do as let's, bad. It, okay. Edit. It's edit. Let's say that they are editing this well, with uh, through a golden filter. So I think that's how it should be. No, I well, I do like drama, but I agree it was fun. But I, I think like everyone's saying it's the best snatch game. I'm like, yeah, no, I mean they were good, but yeah. like 
Evie's but they Evie's performance would not have yeah Evie's performance would not have been edited to be good if it were a regular season in a regular they season. would have I completely agree they would have cricketed cricketed even the Vivian who was great they didn't show a lot of like sparkling moments of anything it was kind of quiet after she talked like well, the Vivian in general for both of hers she's a very good impressionist but there wasn't a lot of jokes there I don't think well, the second it round just, she, she warmed up. Funny. The second round she warmed yeah. up and she really shines with like the commenting on what other people say. So she, I, I yeah. thought the second round she really came to life. But the first round for me, the surprise show stealer, fucking Jada Essence Hollis Prince. That, <laughs> sent it made me. me laugh so hard. Also, it made me horny for Jada. The way that Prince was doing that thing with their mouth and how she was never directly facing the camera. She was always turned to the side. It's just, it's like what the judges said. We could, we could tell that she knew she couldn't do it. And so she said, fuck it. And she just kept just her energy. She kept her energy really <laughs> low and was just weird. I laughed out loud. Like, it was so yeah. fucking weird. I 100% agree. I thought Monet did a really good job as my... Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson. Don't put that in. Also, Don't put me doing that. Also loved it. No, absolutely loved it. Loved well, that's it. what he talks like. I fucking loved Raja's madam. Yeah, me too. I didn't know who that was, but I didn't care. She had the one liner. You didn't. And the physicality. You didn't. No. I mean I've heard of Punch what no. You were born before the Vietnam War. You know who she is. Obviously, the makeup is so incredible. The makeup and um, the and and putting the poles on so that she looks like she's a puppet. Like, yes, I loved it. I thought Trinity did a good job too. It was a little, it was a little easy, but she looked great and it was funny. I mean, gay, and I thought Shay did a good job. Me. Yeah, I just didn't know who that was. You don't follow her on TikTok. Okay. She's no, hilarious. She's very funny. Really? Yes, you must. Okay, I'm going to follow her. Round two, bitch. All right, let's talk about everyone else, and then we'll talk about Jinx. Okay. Evie warmed up. She was a little bit more a character. Yes. She was hot. You know, Fucking... and that's that's one thing, too, about that I really appreciated about this Snatch Game, because we saw it from a few different people. If you don't really, if you pick someone that they don't have, like, a set personality, they don't have catchphrases, they're the devil, they're the boogeyman, you could just make it up do whatever like you are yeah. free brilliant and i felt that from her like i felt like she felt more able to just kind of be herself and i loved it trinity killed as leslie jordan so funny did you see so fucking funny did you see what she said on twitter about it that she they, she might have me blocked they well yeah you you deserve it <laughs> um i'm a big she devil by night fan so like she would never block me <laughs> She wanted to do Leslie Jordan and they told her she couldn't do it originally because someone Why? on someone on season 15 does Leslie Jordan for Snatch Game. And so they told her she couldn't do it because someone on the upcoming season is going to do it. This is breaking news. I mean, she put it on Twitter. I'm not like leaking any secrets, but I mean, she leaked a secret. I'm leaking her leak. I'm double leaking eventually i don't know the reasoning they they were like oh fuck it fine do it people repeat characters all the time we've seen beyonce blow like a thousand times like you could do two leslie jordans it's fine this one's gonna be hard to be i hope whoever does it is really really good or maybe that's why they let Jada. her do it is because the person who did it wasn't very good and they're like well we need one good leslie jordan gay rights t jada essence was lady chablis she looked incredible didn't quite connect with the character but she looked exactly like yeah her. shay is miss J was cute cute good. it wasn't my favorite cute. but it was good yeah fucking raja's diana vreeland the sheer artistry in that makeup i know okay like but what do you remember we've seen her on snatch game before diana vreeland yeah do you Who remember we don't see her all that much anymore after her uber jobber died in a car oh, accident no. oh no can we get her on i listen i think enough time has passed we've survived some really terrible shitty things that people do it sounds to me this is just from my stalking the internet and like all of her posted stuff and she hasn't posted in years it sounds like she was drunk sounds like she believed it and then realized oh fuck i've yeah well, that wasn't or real. Let's forgive or it. also, there's maybe maybe some mental health issues there. 
Right. And maybe but like and maybe enough time has passed that she's worked on it and I don't think it would be out of the realm of possibility for her to be welcomed back into like there's some other ready. queens who have done shit that shouldn't be welcomed back. But no Uva Jobbers were hurt in the making of her story. So yeah. let's let her back. I've never been to Uva Jobber. Monet Exchange's Martin Lawrence was fun. So cute and funny. I love that that is something that they continue to do, like the Vivian did with Joanna Lumley. Like, you can't say the character that you're playing. Yeah. You could just say, like, I'm the actor. Do... But it's clearly yeah, yeah. the character. But the reason for the season, the reason it's the top rated episode of all time, top rated Snatch Game of all time, maybe, the thing that has been living rent free in my mind, Jinx Monsoon's Judy Garland. Yes. I don't even have words. There will never be anybody that funny or good at this again. It's so I'm not surprised by it because she took an older gay icon and smashed Snatch Game and her original one, like being Little Edie. Yeah. It was just probably way. Probably it's she's the reason Little Edie came back into the vernacular and they made that movie with Drew Barrymore. Like no. probably she started that all. No, I don't think so. I think she did. I think she did. Okay. And I'm going to die on that hill. Die wherever you Probably want, soon. honestly. Just make it fast. <laughs> the, okay, so I have to say, for my, for me, my homosexual opinion, I am the biggest Judy Garland fan since I was mm. 11 years old. Like, she was almost exclusively the music I listened to for, like, a decade. And I, yeah. I've seen every movie a thousand times. I've seen, I'm just, I'm obsessed with her. And anytime, anytime she's mentioned in pop culture, my heart skips a beat. Like, it's just, she is such a part of who I am. Like, she's such a huge part of my identity yeah. that... I was a little nervous just because I hold her in such high regard, but I think Jinx killed it. Even down to the little thing of like on the Judy Garland show, you know, they didn't have wireless mics because you know the Cold War or whatever. She pulled, she had these long cords and she'd like pull the cord over her shoulder yes! and Jinx fucking did that. Like all those like Judaisms she had. And it was like the way she held her hands and kind of did this. And then and I, I especially oh, love, oh, go. Yeah. Well, go. it's the moment. This was the moment where I felt such glee. My entire entire body was the cast of Glee, the ones that are still with us. I was so excited. She harkens back to her season when she was paired up with a veteran and had to put him in drag. And he told her the story of how he killed Judy Garland. He didn't kill her, but yes, but I thought he did. Hashtag I killed Judy Garland became a thing because of his insane story. She, as Judy Garland on the Snatch Game many, many years later, tells him that he didn't kill her. Eased his conscience. The brilliance. The, the brilliance. Brilliance. And they did, they I was interviewed shocked. him. They interviewed him for, oh God, I can't remember, but it's insane. His responses to everything is insane. I shared both like the video clip of her forgiving him. And then I shared like the article with his new interview because it just, it cracked me up. He's, he's insane. And I, yeah. I'm, I'm obsessed. And then he commented on one of those. I'm sorry. I have to do this. This is so embarrassing, but my memoir is now available on blah, 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 blah. <laughs> And oh, I was we're reading like, that memoir. I was like, yes, legend. Like, yes, this is your we're moment. Reading that memoir. You got to Janet the Planet this, okay? Like, you got to okay. stay in the zeitgeist. You can't kill anybody okay. else. Okay, I have three to nine things to say. First of all, when that happened, the fact that they cut to Michelle and Rue as if they had remembered that, they didn't know who that was. Yes, but we did get the reaction once they were reminded. They did edit once they it were so reminded. that we did get I to see. It. I did like to Michelle was losing her mind, and that made me laugh out loud. Obsessed. When she called Rue Broom, I fucking died. And then when I saw Michelle hear that, I died again. Um, broom. Jinx's broom. <laughs> Jinx's literal perfection. Also, my favorite thing about that is how in, in the show... And in posts since then, she's credited help with unlocking that character impersonation to her friend Thirsty Burlington, which is a drag queen. Everyone should go follow her because she doesn't have a lot of followers, but she, I thought she like retired. helps Jinx unlock that character. Well, she's on Instagram, Thirsty underscore Burlington. Yeah, she's a live singing impersonator. I think she just doesn't do 
Judy anymore. I just love that she gave credit where credit is due. It would be so easy yeah, for Jinx to not do that and shit. get away with it. Just um, respect, respect, respect in the shit. elders. I love that. Um, well, respect. I mean, everything one gets something from, you know, something. No one's completely original. I mean, you you steal all your jokes from me. Um, no, I stole all my jokes from T Rex. <laughs> <I'm> sorry. <laughs> It's something she used you. to say. She's yeah, she's selling houses. Okay, but the other jinx moment. I'm sorry, you you reminding me of the broom. Back to episode one during the the library when she says to Raja, Roger. Rod. She calls Raja Roger. That's hilarious. That's a very judgmental gay Judy Garland stan. Yeah, I, I couldn't be happier. I thought she was perfection perfection so so darby as a judy garland stan mm -hmm. as a judy expert yeah how many ruby slippers out of five ruby slippers do you give that performance so you want to know how many ruby slippers out of five so two dorothy's and one dorothy who lost her leg in the tornado i would say six i'd say three fully formed dorothy's i'm gonna say it i wish i had my soundboard here to do applause that was beautiful Thank you. That was beautiful, Precious. And you see Shay tweeted, like, the reason they closed up on her the whole time is because every one of us was dying laughing at her. I love that shit. I love that shit. Jinx I mean, a, she's a she's an, a superstar. She's a, a force. She's she has so much talent. It, it's it's unreal. It, it, charisma, uniqueness, nerve and talent. She spells it lowercase C-U-N and then an uppercase T. She capitalizes the end. Okay, because yeah. she's a cunt. Speaking of cunt, let's get into these runway looks. Okay. that was fun. RuPaul, beautiful. <gasps> I loved this. I loved this. This hair. Tiny. I the loved. The hair, the, it was like futuristic Xanadu meets, loved it. Pleasure principle was the theme. Pleather principle. <laughs> it's okay. You get pleasure from pleather. It happens. Monet exchange. I don't think... I don't think there's ever been anything as gorgeous as this. This was, was in fucking incredible. Abraham D. Levy, which say what you want about him, but this was a work of art. Incredible. Mind blown. Mind blown. It's mind blown. It's a top two. It's gonna be a No Viagra needed. <laughs> Spooged instantly. Alexis, we're talking about like a really good thing, okay? But it's pleather, so you can wipe it beautiful. off easily. <laughs> That's honestly so true. And it's not made from cows. I think we're going to see more incredible looks all season. But that, to me, is... It's a game changer. That was... Is that... Am I saying too much? No. It's no. amazing. Have I said too much? There's nothing more I can think of to say to you. Oh, okay, good. Bye. That all, all you need to do is look at this to know that every... Every word is rue. Have you seen Evita? Duh. I have the VHS. Next up, Evie Oddly, Evie Oddly in this pleather anime. So cute with the matching doll, which did you see is for sale now, the plushie? Yes. I want very one. Very cute. She looks so cool. Not necessarily for me. Uh, the the jacket, I wish the, this is so picky. I wish the jacket had been a crop jacket in the front and then the cape could have stayed the cape in the back. I thought it being long in the front made it all look kind of messy. It like it wasn't for me, but I'm also not an anime girl, so that, I could have just I liked described the big zipper up the a back. horrible thing, I don't know. Yeah, no no, I loved I the back. The... I loved the back. Raja. Okay, when I was in high school, I had a red dashboard confessional shirt that didn't fit me. So what I did What's a dashboard the... confessional? Dashboard confessional was a band. They were so cool. What they sang? <laughs> um, they sang. You know. Yeah. I had the red shirt. It didn't fit, so I cut out the logo. It was a circle on the front, and I safety pinned it to a light blue shirt because, to me, red and light blue is fashion, and that is my point is proven here by Raja's look. It is so gorgeous. Wait, I also love that Raja. You think your dashboard confessional T-shirt that you had to safety pin because it didn't fit is the same as what Raja did? No, I'm saying the color combination is good, 
and it's proving my point. <laughs> Raja, yeah, because Raja right. is wearing it. I, I loved, also love I loved Raja, the look as a whole. I hated her yeah. hair. Her hair it drove no. Me See, I love that Raj is embracing her gray hair. I love she's gray. Got I wanted gray. it to be gray. I wanted it to be gray, but that hair look that wasn't her real hair. That looked like a I Halloween think some costume. of it was. I think some of it was. Oh shit. Well, I think the me. but everything else is great. Let's talk about Trinity the Tuck giving mm -hmm. very Jan vibes. Sporty, ponytail, cute, young, puffer jacket. It was cute. It was fine. What did you think about the Vivian? Red shoulders, knees and toes. Oh, loved it. Even when they closed up on her shoes, it was that it had that block like her her shoulder pads. I thought yeah. this look was so chic. Like I so thought chic because Rue even says like you have a great fashion sense. Like this was she fashion. does style. Yeah, this was fashion. She looked incredible. She does look incredible. Remember in the first episode, she kept saying she had the weight of the UK on her shoulders. She has Scott, the Scotland's over here. Area. England <laughs> yeah. is right here. <laughs> yeah. Northern Ireland's right here. Yeah. Wales is over here. Let's talk about Jinx Monsoon. In this, looking like fucking... Yeah. Uh, I uh -huh. would say Lady Tremaine or like a pirate, like a lady pirate. And she looked like an American girl doll from whenever that was. I loved it. I loved it. I love, listen, I love the juxtaposition and not just because I get to say juxtaposition, but I also just love the jinx to position. The jinx to put. Yeah. I just, it, it was so cute and it was pleather and it was kinky and weird and it looked hot. I will say it looked really hot. You like know, I, 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 Oh I my would God. I would be that. sweating. You know how many guys could spooge on this? A lot. Okay. Jada Essence Hall in this Joshua Aponte. Fucking Matrix, fucking Vampire Queen, Aaliyah, like really cool. She looked loved. perfect. Yeah, I loved it. And last, but certainly not least, is Miss Shea Coulee in this oh, kind of Catwoman. Like a reimagined Catwoman look. That was so cool. I loved it. Yeah. And it had all the like, the, the like graffiti, the writing, the, the marker, the, but, like, uh, Bitch. it was so fucking And she cool. came out with a whip and she cracked a whip. And she did There's it. one thing that you, and she actually did it. There is one thing that Shea is going to do. She is going to learn a new skill and bring it to you every time. Remember yeah. All Stars when she learned how to pole dance and did it for the first time for her talent show? And then this, yeah. she learned how to crack a whip, which is not easy to do. Okay, my, my old roommate Sam had whips and she would crack them in the backyard. She would bring her dog out with her and, and it would scare the dog and the dog would escape because it was tiny. You know the dogs here in California, they get taken by hawks and stuff a lot, like little dogs. Like the Seahawks? Yeah, the Seahawks. I love them. Well, because they've got, they're so good at defense. But JB's too big. Like a hawk can't take her. They can try, but they're going to regret it. The top two, Miss Trinity the Tuck, who was blocked. And of course, Jinx Monsoon. So again, well the played by Shea Coulee. Well motherfucking played. Yeah. The lip sync was to Rumor Has It by Miss One Adele. I thought it was fine as lip syncs go. Yeah, it wasn't my, my favorite lip sync, but... Again, those are the kind of the atypical songs. I do like to see what people do with them. You know, like we've seen them yeah. all do lip syncs to everything, like to regular gay stuff. Let's see this different kind of gay stuff. Jinx, yeah. she's a performer. She's fun to watch. And then she gets the platinum plunger. She decides to give it to Miss Shea Coulee. And she told Monet before this was happening that she was going to give it to someone who already had a star because that's... And in this new scenario, that's smart. And I liked her... Because you don't want to... Yeah, I liked her reasoning. I'm playing a game right now. If I were playing a video game, I would do this to anyone who already had a star. Y'all have stars. Yeah. I need to stop you from getting more. You can't have two before I have one. I fucking, I fucking loved when she was telling that to Monet, and Monet was like, what? Yeah. <laughs> don't... No. Yeah. I love Monet so much. She's so, but that was I so knew funny. the minute she said that, I knew the plunger was going to Shay. Shay is the tops, okay? She is the contender. Mm -hmm. So I understood why she gave it to Shay. And there is a little, you know, it is fun to see a little payback happen. Who doesn't like a little payback? Yeah. Just a little. Well, Even and also, I, I know I'm not worried about Shay one iota. 
Like, I think... Okay, okay. Two, even two Who eyes. Who do you think's taking this? Taking what? This crown. This Queen of Queens crown. Jinx. I would yes. not be surprised if it was Jinx, and it would be a joy to watch. I think it's Shay. I want it to be Shay, if I had a choice. Yeah. I just think... Rue seems to have a boner for Jinx. And... But Jinx, is, but it's not unwarranted. Like, usually when Rue plays favorites, it's like... No, oh, I agree. Oh, Jinx I completely agree. Yeah. We're not in a Georgia situation. I just think that she's... I, I, yeah, I see I it. Just, I think it's Jinx. Do we want to make a healthy little wager? Okay. So if Shay wins, you have to take me to the La Brea Tar Pits. And we're going to film it for IMHO. And we're going to look at the La Brea Tar Pits. We don't have to be in drag. Okay. 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 <laughs> we Fine. don't have to be in drag. And if Jinx wins, we have to go to Grauman's. You have to be in full drag. And you have to take pictures excitedly like you're meeting the real Spider-Man with everyone that's wearing those shitty costumes. <laughs> And you have to walk up to everybody and go, oh my God, are, is that Spider-Man? And you have to like take pictures and I'm going to film the whole thing. Okay. You You'll be like, oh my God, I can't believe that's actually you, Elmo. Okay. But you know, it looks like Elmo melted. I love that you think that I'm going to be upset by that. <laughs> that sounds fun. That was a wonderful start to All Stars. Yeah. Alexis, overall, how do you feel? Does it make you feel good? So I'm really it. fucking excited. This feels like a breath of fresh. I know we kind of, because we moved and we're doing, you know, we had a lot going on. We kind of dropped the ball with Spain. Oh, yes. I have to say, lo siento to our my Barcelonians. This, this move has been tough. Yeah. And so, and with all the international franchises, yeah. we might not get back there, but. Well, I'm going to get back there in person. I am gonna like obviously I have to go back to Barcelona and just make sure that the culture is still doing okay. Oh yeah, and you have to take you know, me help with you. Build it however I can. Yeah, you have to take. Well, me no, with I don't know. Like you don't actually you don't tip because you're a capitalist, so you'll be really good over there because you don't have to. No, tip. I tip. Don't 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 put that into the universe. I tip. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. You do. You do. You're really good. Um, I apologize. So we're sorry we didn't get back to Spain, España, but obviously things have been going on. But we are ready. Lo we are, our holes are ready. I will be there in a week, and we are going to jump headfirst into season five of IMHO and beyond. I'm so excited. Oh, my excited. God. The next time I see you, we're going to be in person when we film. Bitch, <gasps> I haven't seen you oh. in so long. I miss you so much. Chicago is boring. Well, no, it's not. Don't say that. It's, it's not, incredible. It's not, it's but I miss you. Our beautiful Chan. No, I know. It's boring without me. I completely agree. Yeah. I keep saying, okay, can I say this? Mm -hmm. When people ask me, oh, so you moved to LA because you just got sick of Chicago. You got tired of that awful weather. Yes, yeah, sort of. But also, Chicago's great, especially in your 20s. Chicago yeah. is the perfect place to be. Well, you moved because your husband. It's so good. But also, like, I, I'm getting closer to, to, you know, an old age. I can't, I have to have sun. I had to throw away that sun, that depression lamp. I owned a depression lamp. <laughs> Thank you so much, everyone, for joining us for this remote uh, review. Again, we will be back together Very in person soon. next week. Very soon. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the little bell notification so you get notified every time we post. Yes, and if you'd like to uh, join us on our Patreon, patreon.com slash IMHO the show for exclusive content, never before seen footage. We're also both on Cameo. I will turn mine back on now that I'm out here. So go ahead and book your Cameos and we will be weird yeah. to you. Speaking of Cameos, you know, Darby, I just did a Cameo in Maureen San Diego's show. Uh, you did. It was really... What was it called? Wait, what was it called? <laughs> the Rusical! <laughs> oh the God. Rusical! You did Wait, more than a Cameo. Don't put, don't put that in. Um, speaking of cameos, I just did a cameo in Marine San Diego show Rusical, and she has she already has she never sleeps. She already has a brand new show. It is called Shitty so Woman, funny. and then it's going to be on June fourth at nine thirty p.m. Why at the Newport Theater. Tickets are because I'm just so passionate about Marine's show. She's brilliant. Tickets right. are fucking flying off the shelves. So get them while you can. June 4th, 9.30, Newport Theater. We're going to link below. Shitty Woman. Truly. Starring I mean, y'all, I'm not. Maureen San Diego. Her shows are laugh out loud funny. I, I, 
cannot no. ha- cannot recommend enough. It really it's hurts really us to say that because we don't we don't want anyone else to be funny, but she is. You're not funny. We will see you next week. We missed you so much, but we have so much to say, and it'll be and it's gonna be long. We love you. Bye. And Darby. And Darby. What? I can't wait to see what? you in person. I'm gonna hug you. I am. I don't think you can threaten me on film. Like I, ha- I could send that to the police. No, I'm kidding. Fuck well, the police. I'll send it to Dateline. Girl, your iced coffee. Well, no, wait a minute. (laughs) That's true. That's true. Okay. <laughs> oh, hot. <laughs> Four. No. <gasps> oh my God. <laughs> Uh, hilarious. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna fucking, okay.